please give a great big round of applause to the very funny and big. through this, so I want to hear Stacey's point. <laughs> uh, how's everybody doing? Good? Good, 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 good. Uh, holiday season, you know? Good. Um, a little bit about me, uh, single, uh, trying to find out what, yeah, it's, yeah, I find it funny too. It's, it's, it's my life though, it's real. Um, no, I'm single and I'm back dating, um, and uh, I'm trying my best to figure it out. Um, like. Like, I, I recently was home over Thanksgiving and saw my high school crush on Tinder. Um, and the thing is, like, I wasn't special for having a crush on him. Like, this guy's, like, captain of the football team, like, like uh, star of all the, like, high school plays, and just completely unaware of, like, my existence. You see I'm setting up a movie here or something, right? Um, no, um, so, I, but, you know, it wasn't, I feel like I, though, went the extra mile with him, like, with my crush, because I also, like, we worked together at Arby's. <laughs> that's not a joke, that's a real thing I did in high school. Um, I don't know why I always get so loud. Um, but no, we did, we worked together, um, and he was, he was, he was, like, polite to me, but, like, didn't really acknowledge me. I mean, well, there was this one time, actually, when he called me to cover his shift. So he could go on a date. <laughs> Big day for me. Uh, but no, um, you know, we, I, I, nothing ever came of it. And uh, I did run into him once when I was in college. Um, he uh, was going through the checkout line at the grocery store I worked at. It was across the street from the Arby's that we used to work at. <laughs> That's also real. Um, and I, I was feeling like feisty that day or whatever, so I gave him my phone number. Unsolicited. And he was polite enough not to throw it out in front of me. Um, so, but as I'm looking at his like Tinder profile last month, I like I, I'm I'm about to start guessing, and it hits me. This guy is like my like white whale of dicks. <laughs> like I don't ever want to date him. I just want to like hook up with him once to like know what it would be like. <laughs> just a modern Captain Ahab. <laughs> Uh, but no, I mean, um, dating's rough. Um, you know, I am, I'm also, like, recently divorced, um, which, uh, I announced last week via e-card from my dog and me. <laughs> Just, you know, ex-husband's name's not on it, so make your own conclusions. And avoid boring, awkward conversations with people. I don't talk to that often. Anyway, what I'm saying is... <laughs> What I'm trying to say is that I got an IUD this summer. <laughs> yeah, anyone else here? Any other? Yeah? Ooh, a soft clap for the IUD? Okay. Women's health, very important, but let's just whisper about it. Uh, no, we should talk about it more. Um, and I got it as part of my Divorcee Starter Kit, um, which, if you're not familiar, uh, the kit includes an IUD, therapy, that's it. <laughs> Uh, you can upgrade to a lawyer, but this is DC and I have a limited income, so you know, I'm doing my version of my best. Um, but no, um, I, actually, the experience of getting an IUD, like all my friends had me psyched out for it, but it, it didn't actually end up being that big of a deal. Uh, well, there was this one thing actually I felt like I have to share with y'all. Um, I, uh, I, I made the appointment a few months out and then uh, went in with no thought in between the makeup appointment and then get to appointment. Um, and so the day up comes, and the nurses bring me back, and they weigh me, and they they do my blood pressure, and you do the superficial catch-up thing where you like update your marital status or whatever. And uh, then they say to me, uh, "Doctor will be right in." And the thing is, I've been seeing my doctor for years, Doctor Valentine at GW. She's fantastic. I adore her. She tells me things. I don't question them. I just go with it because I'm lazy. Um, but. Uh, they say doctor will be right in, I don't think much of it, until there's a knock at the door. And rather than Dr. Valentine, I get an Adonis in a lab coat. <laughs> Let me clarify. When I say Adonis, this guy's checking all the boxes for me. Tall, dark, handsome, glasses, beard, no neck beard. 
And he, he's, he's, he's just like, I'm just standing there like, what was going on? Uh, there's like a million things going through my head at this moment. Um, primarily being, uh, one, why do I always forget that GW is a teaching hospital? <laughs> they send in a resident before my doctor and, um, oh yeah, two, I'm not wearing pants! <laughs> Like, even at my most sexually ambitious, I'm gonna go from meeting this guy to showing him my vagina in like record time. And so he walks up to me not knowing like the internal panic and uh, calls me, uh, says, hey Em, I'm Dr. Najjar. Uh, sorry to hear about your divorce. <laughs> I didn't really have anything to follow up with when he said that. Um, but, uh, you know, he, he, being the adult in the room, uh, starts going into like the appointment. Uh, he's like, so, uh, have you given any questions from your preparation for this appointment from anything you read about getting an IUD? No. All right, cool. Well, uh, which brand do you want? I don't. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, did you do anything before you got here? Oh, no. I showered. <laughs> I felt like that was important though. Yeah, thank you. Like soft pot in the front row. Thank you. Hygiene is very important. Um, and so he starts taking me through the different brands of the uh, IUDs. Um, and as, as we're talking about it, I started noticing that they all have like very feminine millennial names. Like uh, you got uh, Marina, Kylara, Crayola. <laughs> like if there was a male one, it'd just be like a little buddy or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, but as we're going back and forth, you know, he and I, like the, it, it's starting to flow. I think maybe I should flirt with him. He's probably hoping I'm not going to. Um, and I, I come out with this line of like, uh, all things I could say, do you come here a lot? <laughs> and without missing a beat, he's like, yeah, I'm here from uh, Tuesdays to Friday from uh, eight to four. Uh, are you still using your inhaler? <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy, I'm, uh, I still use the inhaler. Like, as needed. <laughs> like when you take my breath away. <laughs> uh, but eventually my doctor did come in uh, and uh, she uh, you know, put in the IUD, he watched, it was like the most action I'd gotten in months at that point. What can I say? I'm killing it. Um, but uh, I do have one big regret, which was, uh, you know, as we were wrapping up the appointment, uh, God bless her, my doctor, uh, such an optimist, says to me, uh, now, Em, don't have intercourse for the next seven days, because you might knock it loose. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but what I, uh, what I wish I could have done uh, in that moment was, like, make like lock eyes with like Dr. like cute butt or face or <laughs> Nijar I think um and said something like really memorable like uh what do you do in seven days from now <laughs> <laughs> but what I did was look into my lap and say uh you too yeah. <laughs> thanks very much guys we did test